What exactly are we paying taxes for in the US? No health care, no infrastructure, no free education, no free job prospects. In most countries you don't start paying off your loan till they place you with a proper job. No family benefits, no childcare, no public transit, no safety net, no mental help. So what is the 17 trillion GDP that just went up by 5% last fiscal quarter paying for exactly? People say we don't want to increase our taxes 1% to pay for universal health care. But they are increased way more than 1% and I have no idea for what. Gotta fund that military industrial complex. So that cops can have tanks. The military can have nukes. And corporations can widen the gap between the haves and have nots. A better question. At what point does the collective public remember that these dickheads all have addresses? The word, no, is doing a lot of work here and the answer to your questions is publicly available. Information. The US should have better things you listed. But nobody will listen to us if we act ignorant about reality. Tax the rich. Subsidies to the companies with record profits and stock buybacks that are price gouging us. More jets and pew pew pew. Good thing Congress just voted themselves another raise. Even though we'll be facing govet shutdown number 682 in a couple months. Again. You're paying taxes so that billionaires who could afford taxes don't have to pay taxes oh and enough. Big boat load of war. It's the American dream. Who else is going to subsidize businesses if not us? GIF. Corporate welfare. Bombs. IDK if this is a real question but I mean if you're talking federally the biggest categories is 21%. Is for social security. 24% is for health programs like Medicare and Medicaid and ACA subsidies. 13% is for defense and 10% is for interest in debt. 2022 Fed budget. Just because you don't feel like you didn't receive some services doesn't mean it isn't happening. These things can be managed or restructured better but they do exist. You pay taxes to ensure the rich stay rich. Now do your part to help make sure the rich and their families live comfortable and stop this. Nonsense about not being able to afford insulin. So you have every single right to be upset. Since the vast majority of our tax money doesn't fund any of the things you list. And instead funds things like the armed forces, international aid, and many other purposes which are either problematic or questionable. However, the list you have just isn't correct. And rhetoric fueled by lies is exactly what those in power have used for decades now to confuse and manipulate the American people. Tax money, state and federal, does fund Obamacare, does fund public schools, does fund things like food stamps and Medicaid, Medicare and other welfare programs does fund mental health programs on the state and federal level. I'm not saying these programs are great, or effective, or enough. But I'm not ready to co-sign on straight-up lies, even those fueled by reasonable hopelessness and anger. We can't afford universal health care but we sure seem to find a ton of money to provide aid to any nation that needs it. Wars. I love how nobody is actually answering the question. Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, Child Health Insurance Program Defense Unemployment, Food Stamps, Low Income Housing. Those things account for 67 plus percent of the total federal budget, which is running a $2 trillion deficit. So, a lot of your taxes are spent on health care infrastructure and social safety nets much more than the military to imply otherwise is disingenuous 
just no health care? Shows how much you know. The US is paying for free health care for all, in Israel. You just gotta move to Tel Aviv. Bro. I'm not sure what city you live in but, you should have health care if you are over 65, disabled, living on less than $18,000 per year, roughly 19% of US citizens. It's not great, but it is something, and you should have many of these other benefits as well. If not, move to a coastal city, blue state so you can at least get some access to mental health care, health care. It's bad, but it could be worse. But aside from the safety net, S, and basic services you've identified, the US technically spends about 25% of its annual revenues on social security and another 25% on Medicare, Medicaid. Military spending is between 1,216% of annual budget. In fact, Depending on whether you include homeland security in the total, $800 billion. We also pay about $475 billion in just interest on our $2 trillion plus national debt. And we pay almost $700 billion per year to continue to pay off the infamous bank bailouts of 20082009 Yep, they still ain't paid off yet. So, yeah, it's complicated. Worst news. Only about 3.5% of tax revenues goes to public education and only 3% to housing. Each person that has served in the House and the Senate gets their full salary for life after leaving office. That alone is some serious tax money. Edit. I stand corrected. Two folks have pointed out that I'm absolutely incorrect with this statement. May apologies. I definitely learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.